everyone welcome back to my channel today i have such an exciting video i cannot oh, you know <laughs> so it's been a while since i rescued any kind of house plants and today i think is the day this is so exciting baby's being naughty this is so exciting because it's been such a long time and today morning while, wa while walking my puppies i found a plant it was just next to the garbage containers classic right and it was on a pile of outdoor annual plants and it was very striking because all of those plants were kind of dead and this specific plant wasn't and it was still in the houseplant pot so i was really curious and looked it up and it seemed to be completely fine but i did not pick it it up because I had no phone with myself so I was not able to film it and I really wanted to film that because it's been a while since I was filming any kind of you know houseplant rescue stories and I wanted to capture the whole thing so it's been two hours since I saw that plant so I wanted to prepare myself do a makeup and all of that and start this video off so we're starting this video off right now I will go ahead and see if I will be able to rescue that plant because it's been a couple hours since I saw it and in that period somebody could take it and rescue it so keep your fingers crossed and let's go ahead and see if I will be able to rescue it <sighs> exciting let's go no oh my gosh I think there is a truck that takes all of those piles of annual plants and I think we lost it oh my gosh it, <sighs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so mad right now. If only 10 minutes earlier, I would go ahead. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone, guys. <sighs> 10 flipping minutes. Yep, this pile just, just have been taken. On top of that pile was an orchid. A beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid with at least 10 beautiful leaves. I'm so sad right now. 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes earlier and I could have saved it. And right now, it's lost. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm really mad right now on myself and on this truck. Oh, dang it. But yeah, okay, let's go back to the apartment and go back to the video idea that I had prior to this one. All right, so plan B is in the action right now. I still feel frustrated, even though it's been a couple hours since you saw me in this video. I mean, the footage you saw because I waited for the lunch break so I could film this whole rest of the video and I'm still mad. <laughs> but you know, life is life. And yes, even though I could not save this orchid, at least I tried, right? But anyway, since we were not successful with the rescue, we need to rescue another plant. And this one is in my collection and you saw it not that long ago. The star of today's video is Alocasia Zebrina that actually have some sport variegation on its leaves and it's getting enormous and huge and it just keeps on falling over. I was looking for a ceramic pot for it because since, you know, it's very top heavy, I thought that would be like the best option for it. But ceramic pots that are that size that I need are insanely expensive and we ended up with a plastic pot. So, I have this plastic pot, huge, I know. So the plan is for me to put some rocks in the very bottom of this pot so it would be a little bit more heavy. And I know there is like a lot of conspiracy theories and stuff like that that this might you know ruin your plants roots because the rocks will hold a lot of water in between of them and all of that i am aware of that in that betsy begonias video but i want to give it a go so this is a simple plastic pot right there's there are no holes so i made holes with a knife all throughout of this edge and also some more holes in here so there will be a way for the for this water to go away from the pot and from the rocks so i will keep my fingers crossed that this will be a nice choice and the rocks will help to keep the plant stable and prevent it from falling over over and over again you know so let's go ahead and bring the rocks that i forgot about and then we'll proceed with the rest of the video. Oh, my brain. Okay, yeah, let's get the rocks. All right, I'm back. Okay, so you can see I added some rocks. 
That's loud. I'm so sorry. Shop. You wanna sit? Come over here. Come. Okay, so the. Oh my gosh, your tail. Don't wiggle your tail. Cute. Can you see him? Being so cute and adorable. So cute. Your car on the bed is eating some snacks. Anyway, okay, so we have a pot. I have this alocasia, and to be honest, I won't go crazy with a houseplant mix for this plant specifically because this is such an easy plant. I'll be using simple houseplant mix I have on hands, you know, and I'll be using some garbage bags to get rid of some old soil. But once again, I do not want to take it too serious and, you know, just play around with the roots too much because it's a lacasia and they're pretty fragile, especially on their roots. Second. So I just want to, you know, take it out, put it in the new pot, fill in, you know, the top layer of the soil and make it, you know, like the end <laughs> of everything. So, okay. So first off, I want to add a little bit of soil in the very bottom. Okay, I think I might end up like this. And I think I might take you a little bit higher. Give me a second. I'm talking about showing you a little bit more of my office. I'm so sorry once again. Yes, today's video won't be a my office makeover. This is coming soon, so so sorry for you needing to wait and all of that. But you know, you know, you know, sometimes life happens. Anyway, okay, so I have the spot. Let's take that allocasia somehow without destroying half of my room. Okay, so here is this huge baby okay right now will be the struggle to take it out oh my gosh you know what i think i will just try pick it out and put it directly into the spot because i don't know there is no reason i'll just do it okay that won't work wiggle wiggle come on come on okay it's happening prepare for the mess how is the roots looking? Oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't like that. It's very... I wanted it to go a little bit lower. You know what? We can work with that. We can work with that. I like to take this ones out of the plant because I know that's why the bugs like to hide. I al already learned it the hard way, you know? Okay, this seems kind of nice. All right. Really wanted to stand straight and not bend over as much. So that's exactly what I'm trying to play, to do in the here, you know? To position it that way. And of course, I'm gonna need to rotate it like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Okay, I actually still have a little bit of swell from my last report. This one is a nice one. Since this one will be the closest to the roots, I will add it right now. Okay, I think we are looking pretty nice right now. And on top, I want to add the back of soil you saw in the beginning. This one actually might be one of the easiest reportings I've ever done. <laughs> but you know, never say anything before you finish doing it because, oh my gosh, so much stuff still can happen. I don't want to jinx it, you know? Okay. This is looking nice. Actually, I had no idea I'll be standing up for this video, so sorry for me showing off my um home paints you know these ones are for my home and they're not very photogenic but <laughs> here is some reality check for you guys <laughs> sometimes i mean like 95 percent of the time when i'm filming videos i'm only beautiful on the top <laughs> oh my gosh that sounded wrong that's what she said so you know what i ran out of soil so i still have a bag of orchid mix so i will probably add that on the very top so the orchid barks you know the tree barks will keep it a little bit 
more nice and aesthetic and I think we are pretty much done wow this probably will be one of my quickest videos because I do not have too much of intro action going on because it was a very very busy week boys actually had some more parties in my apartment we're really working on the training them but you know it takes time the room wasn't built in one day so we're just giving the time for us and for puppies and trying our best to be honest okay this looks flipping great huh it's stable that's what i cared the most about yeah this pot is so much heavier than that one probably the rocks are like the main uh, reason for that okay here is a quick look of the plant it has so many leaves it, it is a really beautiful plant i am still thinking about taking it to the office but also my fiance said to not even think about it because he really likes this plant and wants it at home oh okay yeah we're not fitting together how yeah oh anywho so <laughs> Quite. yeah the puppy is sitting here so i do not want to disturb him because he's being too cute but anywho so this probably will be it for today's video i know it's pretty quick one but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and do it pretty quickly you know <laughs> so i'll go ahead and try to edit this during my lunch break so you will be able to get a video for friday and i really hope you'll enjoy the rest of the week hope this weekend will have some cute adventures or cozy moments with your family and stuff like that baby <laughs> and yeah before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson baby okay yep so since my baby just brought a horn this is like you know snack for your dogs um let me teach you how to say horn in lithuanian and in russian if you want to say horn in lithuanian you need to say ragas once again ragas or if it's plural ragai once again ragai and if you want to say horn in russian you need to say rog once again rog and if you want to say it in plural you need to say raga once again raga this time pretty similar to lithuanian one right but yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, even for this not very impressive video. <laughs> but I really need to do this plan chore for a while right now. And finally, I feel so much better inside after accomplishing it. You know, it felt it felt like a very big house plan test, but after doing it in 10 minutes, I'm like, what the heck, Svetlana, <laughs> you know? There are so many house plan chores that I just keep on, you know, putting to the future, just thinking it will take me like forever. And then I do them in like, 10 minutes and i'm like yeah <laughs> what the heck but anyway thank you so much for watching please like this video comment something let chat in the comments subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully i'll see you in my next one